just a little quick video about the uh, Healthy U vending machine. I ran into one today that somebody's having problems with that I had a, I have to work on. A couple things wrong with it, but I want to tell you quickly how to change settings so you don't have to dig around. It's actually quite simple. Once you open the machine and slide your main drawer out, this is for the one that has a, a small vending machine on top for like food, chips, and that kind of stuff. A small pop dispenser on the bottom. And then you could also have a satellite that sits to the side with vending. Actually, technically, you can have the three satellites. <clears throat> Anyways, to make this simple, you slide open this intersection where the money is, where it collects the change and the money, and there's a button on the uh, on the main board, like looking straight in. You're going to see a button in the middle of it, a small button. It says menu. You hit that button. Now, from this point out, you've got a time frame. I think it was like 30 seconds that you got to do this in any settings as long as you're doing it it won't exit but once it exit it'll tell you the firmware number and then it'll recycle you'll know it exited anyways what you do is on the control pad you're going to use the up arrow down arrow and then your F button is enter like on uh, your left click on your mouse or your select at your F button, G button is your back button. The rest, you kind of just work through. So, uh, if you want to get into the advanced settings, which is where you can set your uh, temperature, uh, if you have a satellite, I believe that's in your advanced settings. How many satellites on or off. Uh, a lot of your important settings is in advanced. You got to put a lock code in. Uh, the default is 10 10 10 10 so four tens in a row is the default if that's been changed you'll have to figure that one out but yeah it's 10 10 10 10 and uh, but it, it won't like automatically go into the advanced menu it'll just say advanced menu at that point you can switch to another menu by your up and down arrows or you can go ahead and hit your uh, F button to go into that advanced menu and then once you're in there, like I said, a lot of the important settings are in there. Uh, diagnostics is actually pretty nice. It, it, it'll really walk you through it, especially if you just kind of get thrusting in it like I did. Uh, it's pretty easy to find the uh, manual out there. What you do to walk through, but what got me confused was, uh, you know, once I got into the menu, how to change it. So this should speed things along for you just remember your F button is your uh, is your enter button and G button is your back button and your arrow buttons is your navigation alright I might do another video uh, later on uh, how to set up columns and uh, how many it's quite simple uh, also uh, maybe do a little video on what to do if you're not getting your temperature sensed so all right guys just a quick little video to help you uh navigate that nice and fast